Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Skillery. Today, in this video, we're going to discuss about creating an AWS account for free. So, to create this particular account, you would need your credit card or debit card, which is mandatory, uh, or as, as a prerequisite, you are supposed to have your debit card or credit card ready before you start creating your AWS account. So how come it is free while you're using your debit card or uh, credit card? AWS has an offer to make wherein if you use a couple of instances which it claims to be free for next 12 months, then they would not charge you for anything. In case if you cross that limit, then it would start putting the charges on your credit card or the debit card that you've used to create. So be careful. Uh, when you when you start using AWS uh, because you have already given your credit card or debit card but if you follow all the instructions that I'm going to give you in this class then you can easily start using AWS for next 12 months without paying any charges okay great let's begin to start with let's visit Amazon Web Services website aws.amazon.com on the home page of your website click on create an AWS account. In here, you're supposed to pass your email ID and create a new password as well as give a new account name. Let me give in my email ID, give a password, minimum eight characters. Account name would be skillready SR. Continue. Once you go to the next step, it would ask you whether it is a professional account or a free account. So choose it as a personal account since it's going to be your personal account. Enter your phone number, your region, your address and finally click on this to agree the customer. So you can definitely click on this and then open the agreement and go through it. Nothing to worry uh, but it's always better to look at the agreement because they keep changing the agreement every now and then. So please go through it and then once you have gone through it, select to agree and click on create account and continue. So in the third screen of your AWS sign up, it would ask you for your credit card or your debit card details. So let me enter mine, expiry date, and hold this name and the CVV number. So and I would say use the current address itself as my billing address and click on verify and add. In case if you want to show it for your tax savings and then uh, you know if you want to actually mention it you can go ahead and then click on yes and enter your PAN number if you don't have it you can verify and continue. In case if you have your PAN number you can give in or if you say you don't have a PAN number you can select no and then click on verify and add. So you would see that you would receive an OTP uh, to the registered number of your credit card or debit card. Let me enter the OTP that I have received. Since it's an Indian card, so it's going to deduct two rupees. In case if you have a card from outside, uh, you know, it may deduct about one dollar uh, fees uh, for your account. But whatever deduction that it does, right, it would send it back to you. This is just to validate if your credit card is valid and then usable. Okay, so let me enter the OTP and click on next. So that means my credit card is validated and it is asking for my cell phone number again. Enter the phone number. Enter the CAPTCHA that you see out here and click on send SMS or otherwise you can also request for a voice call so that it will send you a voice call in which you will get an OTP for verification. So let me send an SMS. Let me enter the OTP and click on verify code. So my account has been validated and verified. Let me click on continue and in here be careful when you choose these details always click on the free plan the basic plan that you have includes all the account 24 by 7 services etc do not click on any of the other plans if you click on it then it will start deducting uh, you know the amount that you see there okay so let me click on free basic plan and then in the screen it will ask you to submit your role and your interest in here you can probably skip this or click on submit to move on Okay, so since you are in this screen, right, your account is actually created and your account is already validated. All you have to do now is click on sign into the console. Enter your email ID and the password that you chose. There you go. You have successfully created an AWS free account. Okay, so in here, there are a lot of free videos which are available for you to start with AWS. 
you know, you have launched a virtual machine. Uh, usually when you start working with AWS, you do this to launch an AWS EC2 instance, wherein you can actually start working on Windows or Linux machines. You can register a domain. So there are various videos or various ways in which you can learn using AWS right to learn to use aws rather right so uh, you can go through these and then start working on it if you want to learn about machine learning devops big data there are a lot of free articles and free videos which are available for your use please go through it okay so now coming back to the free account that you have okay so you will always have to keep tab on the servers or the services that you're trying to create every time you go and try to create or try to use a service you will have to check as to what the charges are for each service like in case if i want to create a service for ec2 or any other service you will have to either find a particular service that you are trying to search for or if you see the link here which says all services you just have to click on that to actually expand all the services available on AWS okay and if you want to know the charges first let me click on one of the service the first service that you see which is EC2 okay so since it's a new account it is not allowing me to you know create any instance out here and it says your service may take up to 24 hours to fully activate if you are unable to access AWS services after that time this is what you can do so uh, this is part of the security that AWS uh, has enhanced. Uh, what happens is when you actually create your account, right, it actually waits for 24 hours for it to get active. It does not actually wait for 24 hours. Uh, it says 24 hours. Probably it would take an hour or probably maximum of two to three hours to actually activate your account. Okay. So, uh, you know, just to be on the safer side, uh, let's wait for it to complete right and probably come back after say an hour's time and then continue with this video okay to know what are the charges for every service that you want to use right let me go to aws ec2 charges right the pricing that you see out here let me open this link like one of the service that you see here is ec2 right and if you see here amazon ec2 is free to try there are five ways to pay extra etc etc free tier this is what you are supposed to read AWS free tier includes 750 hours of Linux or Windows T2 micro instances. T3 micro instances for the region in which T2 micro services is unavailable each month for one year. Okay, so you have 750 hours of usage every month for next 12 months. Okay, to stay within the free tier, use EC2 micro instances. So that means if you use EC2 micro instances, then you don't have to actually pay or start paying money to AWS for next 12 months. Okay, please keep this tab and you want to learn more, get through this uh, free account or free details that you want to see. Okay, so uh, if you see here, all the free tier details are given here. The same link will be updated uh, onto the video's description. You can access this link from there as well. Okay, so if you see here, the free tier is 750 hours. And in case if you want to use uh, S3, it is about 5 GB per month, right? 5 GB storage across uh, all the months for next 12 months. In case if you are using RDS, it's about 750 hours, DynamoDB. Likewise, anything that you want to use, right? It has a certain requirement and certain limit. So as long as you are inside this limit, you are good to go to use the service of AWS for next 12 months. I hope this video helps to create an account on AWS and understand the free tier benefits that you get when you create a free Amazon AWS account. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, like the video and subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Log in now to access all the courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, Subscribe to Skillery YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.